In this video, I'll show you how to uh, download Nessus Essentials, obtain a license code, and install it. In this particular case, I've decided to install this on Kali Linux because why not? That seems like it would be fun. So let's get started. I'm just going to search for Nessus Essentials. There are a number of different links that could get you to the same place, but uh, this, this should work just fine. And it prompts us right away to register for an activation code. Now this is a one-time activation code, and uh, anytime you install or reinstall Nessus Essentials, you will need a new activation code. I'm going to dismiss this annoying little robot. So that should send me uh, a, an activation code. And now that I've done that, I get a prompt to download Nessus. As I mentioned in the previous video, there are installers available for a lot of different operating systems. So we have uh, Windows, Mac OS, various flavors of Linux. If we get down far enough, we should also see FreeBSD. So, so lots of different options for installing uh, Nessus. Now I'm running Kali, which is more or less Debian, and here the Debian installer even says that it should work on Kali as well. So I'm going to pick this option. I'll agree to the license. and I'll save that file. All right, that's done downloading already. That ended up in my downloads folder. There it is. There we go. So I'll install that, obviously. Um, how you install this on your operating system may be slightly different, uh, but install it however you install applications on, on your favorite OS. It'll take a minute to install. And it tells us at the end, uh, at, when it's finished installing, it says that you can start the Nessus scanner by typing uh, bin systemctl start nessusd.service. So I'll go ahead and start that. I'm going to say sudo systemctl start nessusd. Uh, you could use the exact command that they give you, although you would need to be super user. Um, uh, actually, you probably wouldn't, since this is not a privileged port. You probably could install this as as your your own user. Um, I will start nessd, and just to check to make sure that it started, I'll say system ctl status nessd, and it looks like it is active and running. So the other thing it told us is once started that we can go to https colon slash slash Kali on port 8834 to configure the scanner. Uh, it's just Kali here because that is my host name, so that may be different on your machine. But let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm getting a security warning here because it is using uh, it is using the default certificate that comes with Nessus Essentials. Obviously, you can replace that with your own uh, security certificate, but that's not uh, not really necessary in this case. I'm running it on my own host. I I trust this, so I'm going to go to Advanced and say accept the risk and continue.
Now the setup process does take a little bit of time. And I'm also going to need the activation code that they sent. So I'm going to switch over to my email and grab that uh, grab that activation code. Okay, I just grabbed that. It should be in my clipboard now. So you can see that, that essentially the installer for Nessus Essentials and Nessus Professional are, are the same. It's just a matter of, of what activation code you have and whether you have a, a paid license. But I'll select Nessus Essentials and click Continue. And I'll put in my information here. Oh, wait, I don't need to do this because I already have the activation code. So I'll click Skip. And I'll paste that here. And uh, I will paste that here after I allow bi-directional clipboard access on my virtual machine. There we go. And since this is a one-time code, I'm not all that concerned about the fact that you can see it on my screen. Uh, you will need a new activation code every time you install or reinstall Nessus Essentials. So this is the user account that you use to log in to the Nessus Essentials web interface. There's only one user per Nessus Essentials install. So I'm just going to put in Chris and a password. Now this particular part right here, where it's downloading the plugins, will take a very long time. It may be that my virtual machine is a little bit underpowered. I maybe should have assigned it more virtual CPUs. Um, but this could definitely take upwards of an hour. So I'm going to pause this right here and we'll come back uh, at the next video once it's done installing and I can show you how to configure a scan.